double bash once you learn how to do it. Uh, so it basically requires you to have a slower, slower weapon. Uh, and when I do it with my, because I have axes, I want axes to be good. I use an axe, and when I bash with that, it's still good. Axes have the penetration. Yes, they have the added bonus of uh, armor pierce on this on the mastery. On top of that, the smash effect for axes also reduces defense and protection. Problem with axes, they're all slow. <laughs> That's a problem. I like blunt weapons suffer mostly, other than uh, frosted borealis, I think, and. The un yeah. unspecified. Trust, trusted Borealis, because uh, when you dual wield with slow weapons, uh, the way it counts recoil is different than when it's when you're doing one one weapon. So like, here's a cool test. Uh, when you are mounted on a on a pet that can do a any mounted combat, it adopts all your effects, and recoil is different from attack speed. So, like, you hit orbs, and you can get your full uh, recoil regardless of whatever set effects or any kind of buffs you have on you. So, if you have one sword, you recover twice as fast if you use two. You can test that with any, any dual wielding. So, like, it, it actually, dual wielding, that's the only, like, real nerf which you, you have when you have two weapons. Oh, but I guess I'm just getting a flute, a beginner's fluted short sword. Yeah, that's a good option. Mm -hmm. And then if you have oh, a character Nat, that can how? access... Wait, wait, wait. For Nat, how is your latency? You're in Australia, right? Australia? Hello? Uh, wrong, oh, wrong person. Wrong person. <laughs> wrong person. I'm thinking of someone else. I'm Ke I'm on Kelly and I don't know my latency. Okay, don't worry if you're Kelly. <laughs> I'm thinking of someone else. No, I'm, no. Guess I'm guessing latency makes it harder to do double bashing. It, it just makes it harder to do everything. <laughs> matters if you have a normal weapon. Yeah, and it would require it to be fast. Okay. Uh, but I the... don't have to worry. Yeah. Hmm. Other than that, that's about it. Uh, if you have access to a character that is close to getting Resplendent Chest, you can use a Resplendent Chest on Warrior on a human? Get two oh. swords that have um, Lion Hunters something on them, and use those enchants, which are good. Okay. And it's like, very easy access to Lion Hunters enchants. I will not do that, but thank you. That's... 10 max damage. Effort. Mm. I mean, elf. Season elf, not a human. Well, I mean, like, you can just, like... Sorry, I'm responding to the text. Mr. Oh. I didn't... I forgot that was a thing. See you okay? Um, What's the CRK? Okay, it's a so Royal Knight sword. Knight sword. It's also uh, completely uh, useless for you can, yeah. because you can't get set effect. Yeah, it's magical Hello. human. Hello. Wait, what's the first word? Celtic. Celtic, Celtic Royal oh, Knight okay. sword. Why do I keep doing that? Oh. Like so because American football has ruined you. No, it's the only word that I keep messing up for other arms. Hmm? Well, it's not the only word, but it's the word that, for some reason, I know that what it's supposed to be, and it's one of the few that I always still mess up. Oh, yeah, I, I get I, I see, since I can't dual wield the CRK, I don't get the bash bonus from it. Well, yeah, there's a bash bonus, critical hit bonus, and the durability loss bonus, which are all really nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> which is stupid, I hate it, so it so much. Except <laughs> Except you need a divine shield, which it's kind let's of hard just, to get. Let's just chop that up to 
Uh, long time. <laughs> it will take a long time to get a divine shield. You're better off getting better stuff. <laughs> I've seen a single divine shield, ever. Let's see divine shield. Oh, and it doesn't even have the best bonus. No, it doesn't. Broken you shield. have to uh the giant. I think it's the what is it? Doesn't that one? No, that's charge and smash. My bad. No shield has bash. I think. Um, not bash charge. I'm yeah. thinking of the uh, shield of Avon. Oh, shield of Avon. Yeah, that's just full charge effect. Which is hilarious. Uh, why does it increase damage? Why? Why does it do that? There's no reason for that. <laughs> it could do anything else, and it'd be useful. Increasing damage and charge is just dumb because uh, pretty much all side effects are 10% bonuses. In some rare cases, it's not that. So you're getting a 10% bonus on 120% damage bonus. Who cares? Why would anyone want that? <laughs> I'm like, I have. I just want charge so without a shield. Yes, charge without a shield is great. But the Echo Stone version of it I is to have still it, broken. But I divorced my ex and lost the enchant, so I'm trying to get it again. Dang. Uh, the thing with the Echo Stone version it. is that... Yeah. The, the thing with the Echo Stone version is that it always auto-converts to shield if you have one equipped and have that setting on. But uh, you don't want to do that if you have... The effect this is a little frustrating, but they're fixing it. It's part of that whole reforged fiasco that they're fixing in Korea. Yeah, that will take another five years. It's probably going to be part of G22 for us because we got, we actually got because the uh, the defensive stat uh, change was not part of G22. I mean G23 when it when it said earlier. It's not part of G22. It was not part of G22 patch for Korea. It was later. Really do stop the Korean. Yes. I have a problem. <laughs> do you, can you read Korean or do you just... Nope. <laughs> Not a freaking character. Oh, how terrible. I, I, remember, I remember doing that, but I can largely read Korean, so it's not the worst for me. Uh, the non-romanized uh, non language I can read is Russian. That's awesome. And that's not helpful. In Korea. <laughs> for, um, for me, it's just like, hey, I'm from Asia. Asian languages are generally important. Unless, unless it's modern Chinese, in which case, go screw yourself. Yo, what's up with China making up their own romanization that, that make no sense? Um, <laughs> what's up with that? What's up? Why, why, why did they have to make it, like, I get it, you can do that, make your own rules, but why do they have to make no sense when they're in Because they can. Because they can. That's, that's it. Chinese is a weird language. I, like, I can't learn it, and that's just purely because I needed to have started earlier. I'm trying to learn Spanish. Learning numbers was hard enough for me. Stick with that. <laughs> Spanish isn't. I don't know. I, so I got into a Spanish class as a kid. I hated it as a kid. I hated it. Spanish is interesting because, like, uh, everything. Has, the, the The hardest part to get around is that everything has a gender on, until it doesn't. Yeah, yeah, I understand that much. Um, Japanese is the hardest thing. Not just the expressions, but also the 
sentence structures for past or for past. Uh. It's not completely non non-intuitive, so it's not easy. What's the what's the one what's the thing? Because they have the the chi uh the Chinese language has the four is it intonations is yeah. the word five five actually the four sounds uh where they have the famous ma sentence where you can say an entire sentence with just ma. <laughs> Okay, okay, there's a lot. There's a lot. There's of them. actually several of those. So, the one you're thinking about are the six lines poem, I think it was. The six lines Chinese poem. That the lion one. Did. Or, yeah, the lion, the lion eating poem. Basically, that's the, um, that's the most famous for the longer one. Um, Ma is the more famous for the very short one. Yeah, it's a it's like a oh. really short one. Yeah, the okay. Then I know I know both. It's like I always find the line eating one more like, terrifying. <laughs> it's just a story about a guy named Shu who's. <laughs> oh, I think I, I think I know that story from. Probably the stupidest place ever. Yeah. Tails Runner. <laughs> it's it's very stupid. There's a cool guy that ran backwards and he was faster than everyone else because he was cool. It was stupid. The game was stupid. <laughs> I just realized I still need to eat, so I'm gonna do that. Bye guys. Okay, bye. Wait, wait, banquet. Go there first. Be sure to chew. <laughs> All right, bank. Oh yes, this is the. <laughs> uh, the <laughs> this. This is what I was thinking of. What the fuck? I don't, I don't remember seeing that one pass, but uh There's a couple of different ones. That's not, the, that's not the exact one I know. The exact one I know is a little bit more vulgar, but uh that's good enough for now. Uh I like what's silly is that you have the same intonation multiple words because there's more characters that exist than actual intonation combinations. Yeah. <sighs> Character based languages. I like I, I like Russian because Russian's alphabet is short. <laughs> the main like, issue what, is like... that you take a language and then you try to come up with a system for it. Yeah. The the hardest part about Russian is that there's a letter in Russian that doesn't make a sound ever at all. <laughs> And it can just change a word, just putting it in there. So, how does that work, in order, like, in conversation? Uh, you just Not have to subject. get context clues. That's all it is. If you're speaking, if you're speaking with those words, it just, it's context clues. Like, it does the different version come up often enough to be confusing, or...? Uh... Sometimes I took one year of Russian <laughs> in college, so I did not get to the point where I was going out on missions to other countries. <laughs> but from what I know, there are some times where it 
is a small problem. Big deal. Thankfully, doesn't really give that much relatively anymore. Uh, I don't even know why I go to these banquets anymore. Uh, I'm just literally doing nothing because no one wants to run things right now. Hello, fine. Yeah. What the hell was I gonna do? Here we go. I still can't remember why I I, I, I kind of don't walk over there. I went to the uh tunnel and I have no idea what I was gonna do. Nice. Oh, now I remember. I was gonna make that a staff. <laughs> oh yeah, I got some stuff if you need anything. This... Wait, actually, why do I check my pets? I'm pretty sure I have uh, that there. Yes, I do. What? What? Let me know if you need anything. No, uh, I, I have a original sin staff ready with. Oh, original sin staff. We're going frugal here. Like, if she just needs a staff... Oh, Wait, she has no staff, just... The... I like, if she just needs a staff, period, I, I can give her anything, but... Yeah. I think she wants some slightly better than that. Uh, does original sense staff require a charge? No. Mm. What a weird system that was. <laughs> Like all the newer stuff, like but charge. But the thing is, you can use it, and you will do more damage. But it's, it's just what a lot the of time that you spent building up to the charge. Uh, if you make mutants and enchanted firewoods, we can just make the Celtic stuff. Like I probably have that. I have everything else, I just... This fucking magic trap because I'm too lazy. And I'm already doing engineering. It's already enough work for me. Oh, there's the... Uh... Did you mean the druid staff or the garden? Don't do the same? Oh, they're slightly different on materials. Uh, let me check how many gems I have. I, I have enough, I think. I have nine gems, so yeah, we could just make one of those between the two of us. I Let's go half count on the two. Except for the mutant and firewood, because I can't do that. I have, I always have those. Uh, I know I have some kind of shilling. I don't know if it's intact shilling from doing dailies. I have. I have twenty intact shilling. Oh, actually, I have. Yeah, I have. Uh, oh, right, I used that bunch. Um, I have exactly so, 20, so it's good. I'll just do that. Because I can't do the you... other stuff. <laughs> oh my god, I always forget the. Uh, 
but the, I'm like, does it really matter? Because the only difference is a couple points in back attack, right? Well, the thing with the Guardian Staff is uh, um, it gives health. you access to party heal, and I think, question mark, that it gives you the healing wand bonus for mana shield. I'm not 100% on that. I don't know how to test that either. <laughs> um, just go to anything that you do consistently and... Uh, oh, no, wait, the magic attack fucks up with. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, the magic attack... I'd have to have two stabs that give me the same amount of magic attack for to no, test but it. it. Um, isn't the... Killing one bonus like significantly bigger than effect of magic attack. I don't. I mean, once you get enough magic attack, it's kind of even, isn't it? Uh, yes, but the uh, if you don't, if you have like an unupgraded guardian staff, then compared to a. Uh, the, the bad the attack gain from it is uh, kind of irrelevant. It adds 0.5 to efficiency and magic attack. Let me let me write this for me out in the line. This is all tabbed out and sucks. I need text document. Let me. So. You need oh. 125. You need 125 points of magic pack to make up for the difference. 125 isn't that much. Yes, but on a staff? An unupgraded staff? Oh, an unupgraded staff. Oh, yeah, no, no. It does. Oh boy, that is the difference. Uh, you know what I can do? I, I can have, have you hit me. I have uh, a basic baby healing wand and my staff. And I can I just have... switch between the two. Uh, I have an unupgraded staff. Do you have an unupgraded, unupgraded Celtic staff? Yes. Because I made one at some point, but was too lazy to actually. Uh, okay, um, and stuff. Yeah. Where are you? I've been standing in the same spot. I don't know where that same spot is. You were right next to me when you were running back and forth. It was I'm oh. right behind the banquet helper. I wasn't looking. I can't talk and look at the same time. I go blind once I open my mouth. I'm in Shilly now. <laughs> I can come back and then we can do that test. As soon as a minute passes. What was that? Uh, like, you could probably jump this homestead and warp up. You know what? I forget those exist. But it's only like another 30 seconds anyway. Too late. Never mind, Wait, you know what? Home. Not mine. <laughs> what is this hellscape? <laughs> uh, aren't you in the last... What? Aren't, aren't you on the right continent? Is it your homestead on the right continent? No. What are you talking about? Wait, which continent is your homestead? Ulad. Yeah, so why didn't you go to your home? What are you talking about? What are you, what are you talking about? What is aren't this you tech gonna... you're talking about? 
Or is she just gonna warp to the nearest moon gate from the homestead? Oh my god, I never thought of that. <laughs> I forgot. Wait, the homesteads count as physical locations in the world? That's stupid. <laughs> Why do they do that? That's weird. Also, it's weird that Avon counts as some is is part of. Yeah, something like that. And you know, they kind of stack stuff weirdly. You know, the uh, Alpin Knights Training Ground, all the stages are actually on just like adjacent to each other, just very far away. Yeah, which is, uh, I figured that out, uh, because I did the stupid pummel glitch recently, uh, which is fun, I'm glad that's back, I really like when my computer goes one frame a second, when it teleports me to another dimension, <laughs> um, but, yeah, the, but the really confusing part is that why they pick tiny dungeon boss rooms with really big walls? Uh, why did they do that? Let's see, I think my the one I hate the most was the, uh, car room. Dungeon. Yeah, it's the, uh, uh, it's the, uh, um, Rano dungeon boss room. Uh, yeah. I think the worst one is the Kona's Dungeon Boss Room. Really? Why that one? The walls are bigger. I mean, the walls are... The, the, the shape is different. It's rectangular instead of square. So you can get better angles. But the problem with that is... Is that all the mobs in that room spawn on the sides. <laughs> And that's like the only room they do that in. Konus Arena is would be bad if it did the same thing as Konus Boss Room, but it doesn't. They all spawn in the middle. Okay, so let's see. Uh, what is the? I don't right. know how we're gonna do this. We can't duel here anymore. Are you giant double? I don't know. I was changing a lot like last last week. I don't remember what I stopped on. Why are you changing? <laughs> Reasons? Talk about it. <laughs> okay. Um... I was doing some uh, maybe less than maybe questionable stuff trying to get some things to work that are aren't supposed to on, work. Are we on record from an after stream? But it didn't work anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yes, but is Atta still recording us? I don't know. check if I go on a different character, which is weird to say. I'll just turn it on and see what happens. Uh, yes, we are on. Right now. Right, yes. Yes, we are on street. Right. No, I guess I'm elf. Who is this? There's a person I can just smack right now. There's two people. I, you know what? I've never tried this. I wonder what would happen if I did this. Huh.
Wait, 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 wait. What? So wait, you're an elf? Yeah, I guess I'm an elf. No wait, no I'm not. I'm giant. Never mind. <laughs> I didn't realize Dan Dilly was an elf. Can't tell hair. Can't see his stupid dagger ears. Okay, so... Uh, man is shield on. Uh, I'm, let me think. I guess Dance of Death will be the most consistent damage I can do. Okay, well. So I'll just do that without a little weapon. Okay, okay, something that's not a crit. Okay, 50. Cool. On four. Okay. Yeah, it does. It does give you one bonus. Cool. Uh, wait. You did... 50. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I wait switched to a staff that has, like, six points more in magic attack. So it doesn't. It does not give you the one bonus. Yeah, so... Uh, so the only thing good about it is that you can party heal with it? But the thing is, they both roll, so you could just get a better Guardian staff than a Druid staff, so it doesn't matter, really. <laughs> yeah, I'm like this, which is why we should probably just give her the sins to have. Yeah, she could just choose. Because I have. This is gonna be right. aesthetic. The I chance like, of actually like... rolling a perfect staff, slim to none, especially on Saturday. But who cares? Uh, this is uh, 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 A, you know Magic? Uh, magic Craft does not get quality bonuses. Oh, I didn't know that. I guess it's because it's not a crafting skill. It's something else. Or whoever this game made it. Things, please. Just like how gathering bubbling water is not a gathering skill. It's not anything! <laughs> We're not here to talk about bottling water, how awful. <laughs> it's yeah, so, since I already have a uh, dense candid on one, I'm probably better for it. you with a rock. See, I do know techniques are disabled in duels, but are they disabled in open PvP? Probably not. I can't really tell because I just have a buttload of defensive stats and it's really hard to Wait, even can hit. Can you use Vital Surge? And open PvP, I guess, yeah, so, but I mean passive. Because if I can just trigger something, but just rock throw, then that will tell me that. Because 
Yeah, no, it's just, it's active. So yeah, you're just gonna die from a rock. You're gonna burn to death. You're gonna burn today, boy. How is what? You're causing wounds? Am I? The, the burn causes wounds? No. Then why is he wounded? I danced on him. Oh. On accident. Oh, okay. <laughs> he was too close. Come on. Come on! This is supposed to be- this isn't supposed to be this rare. Maybe fire is disabled. Wait, didn't you just get it? No, I got ice. Oh. Hold on, let me switch to fire lightning. Because if lightning triggered and fire just doesn't trigger it, that'd be interesting. That would mean they actually know that PvP exists. Something. Give me something, game. I need to know this. Because passive obviously worked because I stream. Just, just light on fire. <laughs> just come on. Just burn for me. Just, just once. <laughs> yeah, you can solo everything with rock throw now. How cool is that? Wow, lightning triggered at the same time. Thanks, game. <laughs> What's your friends doing? Uh, I was just seeing if, uh... Techniques worked in open PvP because techniques are disabled in duels. But no. <laughs> you can just burn people to death with stones. Wait, techniques are disabled in duels? Yeah. Also, let me know if my knows that might be a future patch, I don't know if it's in. But that's definitely Wait. something I have read. Wait, didn't you test on. Wait a minute, you're right, so we don't have Wait. that patch yet. Wait a second, did you test Vakta on me? Yes, so techniques will be disabled though in a future update, I have read that. Also, taste my money. Okay, so bio upgraded from throwing rock to drawing money. Hey, so what's up? Elemental. I'm glad you asked! <laughs> you get a bonus effect. You get a bonus effect. Based on your. Nat, where are you? Wait, 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 wait. Nat. Nat, where are you? Well, it's hard to show off lightning if I'm doing full damage. Because no one's gonna live through that. I'm too slow. Oh, yeah. Come up with a. Uh, you can probably come up with a giant with a max to defend protection build that can survive it. Yeah, you're right. With a oh, like, plus 100 uh, protection, uh, wind guard. How 
But it, it doesn't... Wait. Nat, where are you? Wait. So you okay. know those little elementals that you picked up and you can put on your equipment? So when you put on your weapon, you get a bonus effect depending on which one you put. Well, ice will reduce enemies' movement speeds, lightning will reduce their knockdown with certain skills and normal attacks. The list of skills is stupid and it's hard to go through. Uh, I have not put it together yet. Uh, and fire does bleed effect damage, which is uh, damage over time that does not inflict injuries and goes through pretty much everything that isn't complete immunity. No, because Bass does knock down you one way. Yeah, Bash does less knockback. Uh, lightning is pretty niche right now. I haven't really figured out like a real good reason to use it. Besides, because uh, non-magical damage, so physical damage, I should say, uh, does get a small bonus to elemental attunement when you have elemental enchant on your weapon. Very small, but it counts in things like tech doing where things are just like. 60% fire, <laughs> something like that. It's really high. Uh, Except then you need double equips because then you run into the same element as you. Yeah, well, I'm saying, like, if you're the uh, that's the idea behind uh, mass elementals, you're supposed to use them to change your gear on the fly, but uh, no one, yeah, that's like that's how you do breaker runs. You have mass elementals with you. Uh, but like that's what you that's what the intention of those are. It's not just so you can just use them willy-nilly. You're supposed to use them for convenience to keep things go keep the flow going. Uh anyway. Uh things like th in a place where you know the elements of an enemy, you can use that to your advantage. Like in in Revive Illusion. The back half you can use um, ice. Uh, uh, you can use ice to get a ton of bonus damage from that little, little itty bitty 11%. Is it 11% or 12%? 11%. 11.1%. So, yeah. yeah. So a little bit can go a long ways if you know what you're dealing with, but it's hard to know. Because the game doesn't tell you anything unless it's obvious. Like, of course, a fire elemental is going to be heavy fire attunement. But, like, you look at a nightmare humanoid and you're like, I don't know what that is. The game won't tell you. Um, <laughs> uh, Nat, come to banquet, though. Why? Well, if you're not doing the EXP. What? And. Yeah, we're not doing anything right now. And after this, I'm just gonna go to bed because I gotta work tomorrow. And okay, so now your question: What staff do you want? Your options are original sin staff with dents already on it, or one of the Celtic staffs if you. Guardian Urge Druid. Okay. I already have the sit staff you want, otherwise I'm gonna gap anyway. Yeah, we're just gonna roll. If we're gonna do a Celtic staff, we have materials, so just roll, roll one. And then see what happens. What do you mean it's fine? <laughs> That's not an answer. <laughs> Okay, so if you don't care, I'm just gonna give you the sin staff because I already have one. Can't use rain cast here. Oh, uh, you don't need to return it. This is an extra one I got off raids. Yeah, uh, no, the the apostle weapons just drop like candy. <laughs> I will return it 
anyways, because I will feel bad. Don't feel bad. Uh, just just don't worry. pretend you pick it off the ground. <laughs> I have a hermit staff with a very nice board, another sin staff that's fully blue upgraded, and I had a decent roll, and I have a guardian staff that I still get about for fifty. For Fritz and Don't. <laughs> Don't. Don't do it. Don't feel bad. It is a early. Or I don't know your birthday. Or it is a belated wedding present. It is a. Arbor Day present. Early Arbor Day. Because magic stabs wood? Huh? Why? Never mind. That's a stretch. Uh, maybe. And Shelly Knuckles are, uh, they're convenient and pretty fun. They're not good at <laughs> either option that they're they're used for. Also quite expensive to repair. I'm guessing that's how you, you leave my dad jokes out of this ridicule. Just fine because your humor is not as not as refined as mine. Yes, that's Ah, uh, you may be correct. I might need to be thinking of... I just dropped all my sticky notes. Never mind, I'm done. I don't want to talk anymore. Well, BPS suggests it's acquired. It's an acquired taste, much like um, how... Marinated silkworm puree. I don't know what that is, but it sounds delicious. Is that actually a fire? I would think that either you eat it or you don't. It is an actual thing. I don't doubt it. I've seen some weird stuff. It is a Korean um, snack, street food. It's mm -hmm. Hindu food is also really weird. Pretty much every. Weird, every weird food comes from Asia. That's just what happens. Well, uh, if you take normalcy as your... Then, yes, everything would be weird from outside. Yes. Have you not embraced your, your, your situation as an American? We are normal. The, one of the youngest countries in the world. Normal. <laughs> America normal. <laughs> <laughs> Fahrenheit <laughs> Cheers. Oh, yo, don't get me started on imperial measurements. I went to engineering school. It's a nightmare. <laughs> You're like, hey, on this exam, there's gonna be imperial measurements. You better know your conversions. The conversions you use one other time in your life. Conversions were, were you gonna did you have to use? I remember it's imperial like, to freaking metric, metric. No, no, yeah, but I mean, like, so it's like what, like 2.54 centimeters to one inch. See, you have, you have to be even more specific. Oh, it depends. It depends. Uh, there's stuff like you have to convert from horsepower to other things, stuff like that. Like, everything has an imperial unit that's dumb and stupid. And then um, everything has the a question is, why are you being tested on remembering the verse when you're never going to Okay. There is a reason. And it's actually a really good reason. Uh because it's what's used in America. Full stop, that's it. <laughs> no no no. The, the, I'm like just because like if Chances are, if you're doing the calculation, 
you can look them up. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Most of the times you are giving conversion, but in core classes, uh, that's the uh, X factor for the grade because the grade has to mean something. The grades, we have, you know, the standardized letters, but they have to mean something in the class. It has to, it actually is, a, in my school, there was a value to the letter besides, you know, GPA. It actually meant something. And in core classes, since it's a uh, core engineering class, it's not core specific engineering classes. There's so many people that uh, if you know the conversions, that means you're going to stand out. So there's like always a questions there's enough there's enough places to where the convert knowing the conversions offhand matters to where it'll change your letter grade by one pretty much it's basically it's, it's not a pass fail thing it's just like this is something that makes you more valuable what do you call it it's like a, a filter almost. yes uh once i got to the nuclear engineering core classes it didn't happen because there's no other units to use. <laughs> you you use the units that people made up that are named after people, like Curies. The funny thing though is that uh, the resolution of the units in nuclear engineering for like radiation exposure and stuff, uh, there's technically no scale to them so they're just kind of units that exist so they have <laughs> the ultimate nightmarish conversion factors for the unit on the same quote scale like a curie to let me not lie about this and actually pull this up in front of my face A Curie to a Becquerel is 37 million, specifically 37. <laughs> so uh, you just so had like, to know... What is the... is it just... It's, it's just resolution. It's just resolution. Like, uh, if you're dealing it's with... Just, it's just because one is used for the relative standard for one thing, one is used as the relative standard for another thing? Yes. Okay. So like, uh, you would use Becquerel's if you were dealing with something really small. But like, if you're dealing with an actual reactor itself, you're using Curies because you're gonna have millions and billions of Becquerel's. And that's just so not fun is, to write down. Is the 37 like a specific actual relevant thing? Or... Is it really no, <laughs> there's no relevance. Uh, the, the well, there is a relevance. Uh, it's based on a specific material that was used to uh, scale the unit. Or better, is it is it irrelevant the way like Fahrenheit was way the guy did it on in his laboratory, or is there actual a um, there's a standard. There's a standard for conversion based off. There or is, is a, there an item in nature that actually causes that thirty-seven factor? Yes, there is. Uh, and the the and well, the thing with uh, Curies and Breckerels is that they're on the same. They're the same. They're unit. They're the same unit at a different resolution. So yes, they do. But, they have the same exact functions. It's not like Fahrenheit and Celsius. And, like Kelvin. Yes, I know, but is it is the like is their relative value kind of irrelevant be in the way that Fahrenheit the zero is kind of an irrelevant point? Or oh, no, is, no, no. The, or yeah, is yes, it yes, yes. There there's no specific rel relevance between the two the, the, the two units. They just exist at different resolutions. And they just kinda Use them because you needed you, you needed a unit at a. Uh, Curies were discovered first. Uh, well, quote unquote discovered first, uh, and, and that was a high resolution. Uh, it was a low resolution unit, and so when you're dealing with 
small scale radiation, you can use Becquerels because it's a much higher resolution unit. Similar, like when I say resolution, I mean like uh, you would say Fahrenheit is a higher resolution than Celsius. Because uh, a unit in a unit in Celsius has more value, is more is more change in temperature than a unit in Fahrenheit. Oh, on the side note, does Van did Vankai ever come up for you? Like the what? anything, Vankai. The temperature uh, scale varies. Oh, yeah. I remember hearing that once and never thinking of because we just use kelvins because kelvins are the absolute temperature that is what we that is that's just what everyone has accepted as absolute temperature is kelvin uh so you use that in every calculation that involves temperature when you're dealing with uh nuclear calculations yeah like i learned it and then i was like i never actually promote the comparison because you are to convert well i never remember because it's easier for actually to convert from fahrenheit to celsius to kelvin then to remember, for me to remember oh, how to convert. You, uh, there is a, there is a formula, uh, for I forget it's, specifically what it's for, but there's a formula that uses Rankins as a shorthand. Uh, in nuclear engineering, I can't remember exactly what it is off the top of my head. I'd have to look at my notes. Also, you're, you're a nuclear engineer. Uh, I went to school for nuclear engineering. <laughs> Uh, that's the end of that story for now. <laughs> but yeah, Kelvins. Kelvins are fun because zero is a strong arguing point in theoretical physics because theoretically, uh, you can exist in zero Kelvins. Also, theoretically, matter cannot move in zero Kelvins. Oops. <laughs> so what happens in zero kelvins, you might ask? We don't know. <laughs> it's because it's currently physically impossible to to generate zero kelvins in any environment. It's like, I guess, the concept of infinity. We kind of understand what happens as things approach towards zero kelvin, but then the actual zero kelvin, it's up for anything anything that happened basically the the big theoretical physics thing that happened while i was in school was the uh you know the hard uh large hydrogen collider yeah they uh the that whole thing mm -hmm. the whole thing yep. was for two theoretical physics theories multiverse and not multiverse which is correct and the absolute worst thing happened when they actually ran it successfully. Uh, they got the value, the variable value that they were looking for, they were testing for, was either going to be close to or exact one number or close to exact another number that would prove or disprove the theories. Right. Uh, it came basically exactly in between those. <laughs> I haven't been following it recently. I don't know what what's been going on in that. Uh, but so when they ran, when they actually finally set up a random large hydrogen collider for the first time, no one got anything from it besides that the experiment can be run, which is good. It's good to know that the experiment can be run and you can get the data from the experiment. But the bad part is when you get data from the experiment that doesn't do anything. <laughs> Well, we found out that the universe is a troll. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, the big deal with uh, multiverse is that in if multiverse theory is correct, that means there are other universes where the universal constants are different. So that means, like, constants that you use for everything are different. So that means the laws of physics can be different in a different dimension. That's the that's the whole big deal with that, and if multiverse theory is incorrect, that means the laws of physics as we know it are absolute. 
Unless it turns out we're missing part of the boss. I feel like we got a pretty good handle on it. I think the... What was it? Dark Matter is like the big thing. There was just like big question mark. What is going on here? I'm like... Like, what's... Is there any way of proving that the equations we have aren't missing like some additional thing that like comes out to zero in most cases? Uh, he, like that's a hard, hard question. Because every practical, uh, because physics is broken up into theoretical physics and uh, what's the word they use? Practical. It's it's practical, but they use a different word. Experimental. Experimental. That's the word. Experimental. Uh, the big, the big difference is that theoretical physics. Uh, there's no room for error. Error does not exist in theoretical physics calculations. You use calculations so uh, you use calculations that are to a degree, and used in such a way that you do not generate error, which is why like physical theories take like hundreds of years to just come about. <laughs> uh, but experimental physics, uh, we count we account for so many different kinds of errors. Like uh, the error you always have to count for is human error. Because you can just look at a chart and be wrong. Oops. <laughs> oh, I'm just like wondering that, like, if you take a form, uh, what's to say there's not like a plus some constant times some variable that off most likely okay. calculates is zero in so yeah. So like here's here's the here's the uh, big thing that a lot of people use to explain how laws of physics are kind of solid in our universe is that when you take a look at gravity uh, and when you do calculations of gravity, you always usually in most situations use, you know, 9.81 minus 9.81 meters per second. In most cases, that is wrong. <laughs> that number generates an error immediately. Because of how gravity works, gravity is relative to altitude and atmospheric pressure. I think those are the two <laughs> variables. Uh, don't quote me on that one. I'm just pulling that one out of my pretty much my butt. So, <laughs> but it's altitude, uh, altitude for sure. Altitude. But the second one, it's a second uh, variable. The altitude but... covers most of it. Yeah, altitude is the important part. Uh, but there's another variable that goes into it, but who cares? Like I said, the experimental side of physics, we just love errors. We just throw errors in everything. Which is why uh, the Howlar Hydron, was, they just wanted something close to it one exact. Uh, but that's the thing. Uh, observing things immediately causes error. Calculating things in that's reality not, causes error. Oh, uh, that's not really what I'm asking. It's like, um, you're, you're, okay, um, you know the Pythagorean theorem? Yes. And then the extended for non right angles? Yes. Like, so what if what we're normally calculating is a sense of right angle, and that's what we don't know about extra part? <laughs> Uh, so I guess what you're saying is like take any physics equations, and what if what we're calculating has minus whatever, but it normally calculates zero? Mm. It's really hard to explain because the the big part is that everything can be broken down into smaller parts, like like what you explained, uh, the Pythagorean theorem, and then you can extrapolate that into other triangles that are not right triangles using manipulations of formula. <laughs> you can manipulate things down to such a granular level that it becomes insignificant in daily life. 
like um when you are calculating uh when you're calculating atomic weights you can ignore electrons for example but you if you add in electrons you get a granular change that basically doesn't show up when you account for error so like electrons everything are point what? particles right what point particles right point uh, you may be referring to some yeah. other thing. They, they, don't don't know occupy, about. they don't have a volume, but they do have a mass. Sort of. I'm not the entirely 100% on that. The main thing that we're trying to express here is that, um, for <laughs> theoretical physics and all these equations, if there was some sort of unknown variable that did exist, it would be pretty we it'd be pretty easy or quick to identify that there's something missing even if Ooh. we don't well, relatively speaking because uh theoretical physics theories aren't always correct and that's that's kind of the thing like yes it can happen and it does happen that's currently what's going on with you know multiverse versus the other theory i forget the name of it but it's basically not multiverse and that's why we're uh, getting a another yeah. in between. Yeah. Um, so like, there's there's something missing. Yeah, but it's like we can. It's the thing of like, no matter. Like for a lot of theorems, the equations can be wrong, quote unquote, or they can be wrong, but it's never a thing where there's something. Never like something you just never know about. It's kind of like it's kind of we quickly it can I start to identify holes in whatever equation we have. Yeah, like once the once a theoretical physicist partners up with an experimental physicist, there there starts to be things that happen because once you are able to set up an experiment to test a theory, uh, you will start to understand. Uh, where things fit in and where you can take your errors from. Uh, so basically, what I'm saying is yes and no. Just oh, uh, that's the exact kind of answer you, you want from a theoretical theorist. Thank you. <laughs> that's exactly. I'm I am definitely not a theoretical physicist. Physicist, yeah, so I that's, I can't. That's, totally like, that's like a that's like a the that's like a theoretical. Ph Theoretical physics answer like that. That's token theoretical physics. Yes. Yeah. And no. Once in in college, once I hit modern physics, every question was answered with yes, well, <laughs> <laughs> or no, but. <laughs> also, if we scared away. I just look like. It's funny. It's funny because it's like, oh, equals mc squared. Yeah, that's energy, right? Haha, <laughs> no. <laughs> wrong. Very wrong, actually. So that's the kind of thing I'm trying to get at, is that things can be more complicated. I don't remember why I bothered going after a physics degree. <laughs> I don't know. There's some, there's some like insane people who are like, I'm gonna dual major engineering and physics. Oh, I mean, you're literally just killing yourself. <laughs> How do you do that? Um, like if you're building at the theoretical side already. Kind well, of you don't have to take like you have to take uh, for most engineering, you have to take modern physics one. And you don't even have to go to modern physics too, where it starts getting really heavy into theoretical physics. Uh, uh, I took one. I did not take two. I was done at one. I was like, yes. Problem solving is fun. These problems have already been solved, and my head hurts. <laughs> well, I'm going to go back to suffering, because I still have 20... 22 points before our rank 1 in Divine Link. Huzzah.
I hate Crusader. I hate everything about Crusader. I hate the raids. I hate the skill. I I'm I'm with you with that one thousand percent. It is dreadfully boring. <laughs> it's not uh, I, I like Judgment Blade and I kind of like Shield Trust because it has wound healing. Oh, oh, rather, no, no. I like Shield of Trust because it was uh, the advanced heavy standard when we didn't have good options yet. Yeah. yeah. See, uh, like, I. It, the, it's not the problem with skills, it's the fact that these are skills that you can essentially only level with other people in a specific raid that. Is yeah, not when they came out, you could only go to rank. And then they patched it where you can go to rank 9 by yourself. And then they patched it where you can go to rank 7 by yourself? Rank uh, 7? Uh, 8, yeah. I knew it was a little higher. But it's just like... It, it, there should be a method for every skill to be trained on your own. Well, technically there is. It's... How do you do? How do you do blade on your own? Uh, well, I never said it was a good method, but you can just spam daily quest and buy AP seals. I'm. I'm not they give you the AP seals from there? I mean the skill seals. Skill seals from. The... Okay. Oh, yeah, that's... but can but you can do enough of those. Can you do enough of those with just? Solo raid. Uh, skill seals you can do. You, I'm like you can do skill seals for anything. So, I, I you think. Oh, I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. That's. Uh, that's kind of. Yeah, yeah it's uh, a method. You, you can't get the sub skills, but uh, you can. Oh my god, train. I didn't even think about the sub skills too. God, it's. See, awful. like my problem with Crusader is like. Before, when they first came out, the only things that weren't covered by other skills were the advanced heavy standard from, well, from other skills for all races. The advanced heavy standard from shield. Uh, that's it. <laughs> that was the only thing that was not covered by other skills. And now we have techniques and dance of death and all that sort of nice stuff. So every Crusader skill, including in, pretty much including their sub skill, minus Divine Link. Divine Link is an exception because it was, you know, done by competent people. Uh, well, do you do you did you look at the, the sub skill training, especially for Spike when it first came out? Oh no, oh no! I never looked at them when they first came out. I only know of recently. Uh. I am Crusader level 13. I can't even max out one sub skill. <laughs> okay, so the. I'm just going to pick one, let's say, weight consciousness. 